Now, in a home lab, it's often difficult to use a condenser and a distillery because you need a fitting faucet. And um, I, for example, I've got no faucet near here. And that's why I show you how to use an aquarium pump as a source of water to cool down the Liebig condenser. Now all you need is a tube which fits on these things here of the condenser. Then um, yeah, a cheap aquarium pump. I got this for a few euros and um, it looks like this. And if your tube doesn't fit on this thing here, you may need a bigger tube. So I've got a, I got it for free, a small, bigger tube, which fits here, and you can put the smaller tube in it. You have to pay attention on what's written on the pump, because um, here, for example, the maximum height of which it can put water up is only 0 0.5 meters so 50 centimeters and of course the distillery can't be higher because then you don't get your water up there. The last thing you need is a beaker with some cold water in it and I choose this flat one because it fits perfectly under my distillery. Now the direction of the water should go from the pump here up to there and flow down back in your container. That's why you need a smaller tube here to get the water up, so maybe 20 centimeters in this case, and here a bit a long one which goes back in the container. And now you have just to cut off the right length of your tube. Now you should attach the smaller piece to your pump and the other end to the lower end of your condenser, like this. The longer tube should fit here and then go down back to your container. Now I cut the piece a bit too long so that I can readjust them, make them a bit shorter so that it fits better. The last step is to put your container under all the stuff and put your pump in the water. Perfect. I attach the tube with a piece of tape on this side of the container so that it doesn't hang around. Now you can just turn on the pump and see that it works. The water gets down on this tube. Here I'm distilling some beer, which is in the round bottom flask, and um, to get pure, pure alcohol, so as pure as possible. And I know it's not very good to heat up a round bottom flask with a Bunsen burner, so um, because then there's a lot of pressure on the glass and it's not very good. So it would be better to do this in a water bath, just that you know that.